Hey, one. A ball is thrown upward with a speed of 48 feet per second from the edge of a cliff 432 feet above the ground. Find its height above the ground t seconds later. When does it reach its maximum height? And when does it hit the ground? So we'll get started. And what we can do is uh, assume that the motion is vertical. And we choose a positive direction to beat upward. At time t, the distance above the ground is s of t. And the velocity is v of t. So basically, we know at time t, the distance above the ground is s of t. And the velocity is decreasing. Therefore, our acceleration must be negative. Is negative. So this is above the ground. Now we're going to use the fact that an object near the surface of the Earth is subject to gravitational force that produces downward acceleration. So g is the constant, so we're, since we're in feet, we're going to use 32 feet per second squared. So what we're going to do is do our acceleration of t equals derivative of v with respect to t, and that's going to be negative 32 since we're decreasing and our acceleration is negative. All right, so determine, to determine um, C, we need to first take the antiderivative. So to get uh, VT is just the antiderivative of AT DT. So um, that's just going to equal um, negative 32T plus C. Um, given the information that V of 0 is 48, we can set, um, uh, this gives us um, 48 equals, so we have V of 0 equals 48. So we get negative 32 times 0 plus C. So C equals 48. So our final equation here is V of T equals negative 32T plus 48. All right. Um, uh, the maximum height is reached, so we're going to do the uh, maximum height. Um, the maximum height is reached when V of T equals 0. So that's going to be um, after, um, so we set this 0 equal negative 32t plus 48. So subtra uh, subtract 48, divide both sides by negative 32. That gives you uh, t uh, equals 1.5 seconds. Since we know that the s, uh, the derivative of our position of t equals the velocity of t, we can uh, use the antiderivative again and get our s of t. So our s of t is the antiderivative of the velocity of t, dt. So that's just going to be, um, we have our s of, our velocity of t is just a negative 32t plus 48. And we're going to take the antiderivative of that. And that's going to give us um, negative 16t squared plus 48t plus C. Let's call it D because we already had a C. All right. So we know that S 
of 0 equals 432. So there's that. So what you're going to do is uh, plug in 0 in here and get your D. So S of 0 is really 432. Plug in 0 in here and you get your D is going to be um, 432. So our final equation is going to be uh, S of T equals negative 16T squared plus 48t plus 432. Again, when you plug in zeros in here, these two will go away. And you get d equals 432. Okay. Um, now, the expression s of t is valid until the ball hits the ground. This happens when s of t equals zero. So now we have negative 16t squared plus 48t plus 432 equals 0. Now we can divide uh, everything by negative 16. So just divide everything by negative 16. Make this a little easier. And you're going to get t squared minus 3t minus 27 equals 0. Uh, since we can't factor that, we're going to use the quadratic formula. And we'll do that. So we'll get t equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. And again, we have a t squared minus 3t minus 27 equals 0. So we're going to get um, negative b, so that's going to end up being positive 3, plus or minus square root of 9 minus 4, a is 1, and c is negative 27, all divided by 2a, so that's 2. So this is going to be t equals 3, plus or minus 3, uh, square root of 13 divided by 2. Now, um, we reject the solution that gives t as negative. So we're going to take the positive. So t is going to equal um, 3 times 1. I'm factoring out a 3. 1 plus square root of 13 divided by 2. And that's approximately 6.9 seconds. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.